Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video. It's your boy Elzanito and today I want to talk about something very very common to designers and also to every other person in the creative industry and that's portfolio and how to create them. Personally for me, I believe you should not be limited to a particular portfolio, right? You should not be limited to a kind of portfolio. I believe you should have both your offline and your online portfolio, you know. Um, now the online portfolio can be a different kind of form. You can have a Beans portfolio, you can have a Dribble portfolio, you can have a website of your own, but also you should have, you know, an offline portfolio, for example, a PDF file or a PowerPoint um, presentation that shows your work, such that when you have clients that <coughs> chat to you via email, and probably they, due to security reasons, they don't want, um, to, they don't want you to send them uh, probably um, links and stuff, they prefer you just give them um, documents for them to you know open and stuff so there are clients that like that that they you know they just love their security and so they will prefer that you give them you know a pdf or something like that and why some clients just want to open your uh, portfolio online and just scroll through what you've done so far so for me personally i would always advise that you should have portfolios in different forms you should have a pdf you should have a presentation form of portfolio you should have portfolio in your beans in your dribble you should even have if you are brilliant enough you should also have um, a portfolio an online portfolio like a website similar to a website and um, all these things are not um, like explained for example beans is free um, unless you want to probably check out um, adobe portfolio the new adobe portfolio or beans is free dribble is free all you just need to do is um, gather your files and you know compile it and just you know up upload it on the internet so basically what i want to just show you is uh, a breakdown of my personal portfolio and you will see that as much as i clamor for having multiple portfolio i personally am defaulting when it comes to updating my um my designs online so for example the most updated um portfolio i have is my website and i created the website um using um portfolio box so if you go to portfolio box portfolio box um let me just open dot net right it's it's a web it's a web um, website um, designer for anyone like even if you don't have it if you, even if you don't know anything about web design right it's just like a basic drag and drop kind of format it makes it very very easy and you know even if you don't have money to probably buy a domain or um, stuff like that you can just create it free of charge and although it comes with it's going to be attached like portfolio is going to be attached um, to the name you choose but i mean it's, it's still free and it still serves its purpose there are limitations so uh yeah for example if you're using a free portfolio box um site probably you are limited to 1000 image or images you know but if you have uh, the premium version like i do i mean it's you you are not limited and so this is the site here portfolio box you can see several i mean this this site is amazing because it makes it very very easy to create it just it's just so so simple so for example you don't need to go through the stress of creating using web wordpress or webflow since it's just a portfolio box i mean if you want to create the standard website sure you can do that using web wordpress um, webflow but since you want to just have something that showcase everything that you've been doing so far you know you can work with this um yeah All right, so as I was saying, um, I mean, Portfolio Boss, you can check it out. It's an amazing site. And with Portfolio Boss, I was able to create this. This is my um, home page, right? Just this, um, what was it called? This design was created on Photoshop. And, you know, something very simple. Just, um, I created this um, section as well. Then a small section that talks about my favorite quotes. I mean, it's my personal favorite quotes. So, then just a, some, a very simple um, showcase of a campaign I did with, um, you know, just a fictional campaign I worked on. Yeah, and the footer. And you can see by the left, you'll see your home, your about us. Your about us would also, just like the way it would be on your um, CV, right? It's going to contain everything. Like it has, the site has several, um, what's it called? It has several options to choose from. And I just, you know, I love dark vibes right i love dark themes and stuff 
And so that's why I went for something dark like this and also something very straightforward and simple, you know, showing the sliders and all those things. And so, yeah, this is about us. Then under services, you can see I listed out several services I, all, I you know, offer. Then, you know, all these things, very, very simple. Even if you don't know how to design, I mean, all you just need to do is just dedicate time to it and it's just drag and drop, drag and drop and just putting in your content and all that. Then we have project, then photo manipulation. Photo manipulation is just my gallery that shows um, several of my um, designs so far. We have brand design, blah, 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 and all those things. So this is usually my go-to when clients ask me for online portfolios, right? Or when I apply for something and they require me to like share my online portfolio. So that's my go-to. Now I have a dribble portfolio, but it's terrible because <laughs> the last time I posted there was a very very long time ago and so you can see that the most recent design i have there is a grizzly energy drink i created a long time ago and aside that it's been a while i mean it's just photo manipulation only so dribble is more of photo manipulation only right no brand design nothing like that it's just photo manipulation and so i just have this just you know just just so that yes i can say okay i have a dribble um portfolio i've never used it at any point i just love the fact that I can always go to the Dribble site and check out for inspiration. Most of the time, I come to Dribble and Beyond for inspiration and not really to post because there are some amazing, amazing um, designers here. Same with um, Beyond as well. Beyond, you can see that it's been a while I posted also Grizzly. I think I should update. Um, I think I should update my Beyond and uh, Dribble. But yeah, that's that's basically it. You have. Any portfolio box you can use the portfolio box you can use you can create your web you know, your website using wordpress you can use you can have your dribble your beans there's even one contra there's contra.com you can check out contra although contra originally is to get jobs right online jobs but you know being in, being a nigerian i i find it very very hard getting um, international jobs because of you know the um the vibe that the few private nigeria give as you know, as you guys, these internet issues, and so yeah, I I really do not stress myself with looking for international jobs on platforms like Fiverr and all those things because in most cases, as a Nigerian, you barely get jobs there. Except probably you want to start going through the evil routes of changing your your location and all, which I would not advise. It doesn't pay. So, but yeah, that's just basically it. This is Contra, and you can see this is my Contra um, page. So if I go to my portfolio. I have not really done so much on the portfolio itself, but it's something that I can spend time working on. But Contra has a very, very um, fluid and you know unique way of design, and so I think I will still spend time to check around this and stuff like that. So yeah, that's basically uh, for the online portfolio. Now for the offline portfolio, I have one that I created. I used to have one before, right? And that one, you know, as as a designer, our 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 designs are never complete, right? Even if you create a logo for yourself, you would never see it as finished because the more you grow, the more you see your designs as something that needs to be retouched. And so we most designers don't really have logos. I don't know of you, but personally for me, I don't really have like an El Zenito logo because when I create one today, in less than one month i have gotten new inspiration for el zenito logo and so it's always very that's why i just stick to an el zenito manipulation just write up she understands so i mean i think it's usually the same for most um people so for the pdf version of portfolio i was able to create something like this i got the template online but i used i had like you know added some of my concept and stuff so you can see that starting off as usual, that vibe, that team. Graphic designer, graphic designer slash uh, brand strategist. My name. Then we have the short intro. Blah 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 like that. You can have that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share these templates with the video so that if you want to create something similar to this, you know, you can go ahead and create it. So we have then we have uh, about and my gear and skills. Blah blah blah. Then you know what I do. Then you go straight into listing out past projects that you have done. You know all my past projects. Now you want for the difference between 
um, the online portfolio and the offline portfolio is offline, you are limited in the amount of images you can add. Nobody, no client wants to open a 20 page PDF. No client wants to go through that, right? But online, you can put as much as a thousand, I mean, until they are tired. But off, um, offline, that's PDF version, you can't have a 20 page portfolio. Nobody will go through all those things. So you have to pick the best of the best. And that's to address various aspects of what you do. So we have, um, for example, we have um, brand identity, we have um, product design, we have um, ad campaign, we have website design, we have um, events design, we have movie posters and photo editing, photo manipulation, logo creation. Very simple and straightforward. You can't, you are limited. So you have to just stick to various sections of what you do and choose the best of the best and so yeah that's basically it um like i said always ensure that you have multiple um, options for your portfolio don't stick to just one right and also for your cv try your best not to make your cv fancy nobody wants to the fact that your designer does not make your cv has to look all fine and stuff that's what your portfolio does your cv is supposed to be very very clean and simple and straightforward i had i i used to think my CV has to be very, very fancy, you know, put effects, put my face and all those things. No, it's CV, your curriculum, bacteria or whatever it is pronounced, you, it has to be very, very simple and straightforward. It's a formal document, so make it as formal and minimal as possible. And so, yeah, that's basically um, all for today. Um, I'm going to see you guys next time.